Hello and welcome to the Seafoam Isles Draft League. This is the first match in the first round of playoffs. Uh, this is between Paco and Kiwi. Paco, the coach of... Hang on, my computer's being weird right now. There we go. Paco, the coach of the Charleston Gastrodont, and Kiwi, the coach of the Children of Atua. The Mega Pokemon in this battle are Mega Sableye for Kiwi and Mega Alakazam with no nasty plot on Paco's side. Both Pokemon did not show up. Uh, Z Pokemon, Z any Z any Ampharos, Z Attack Cobalion for Paco, none of which are here. And Z any Meloetta, Z Attack Cinderace, Blaze only, both of which showed up for Kiwi. Um, initial thoughts. Oh gosh. Um. <laughs> So, I think if Paco had half of this team on a doubles team, it would be the most broken team in existence. Oh, without, you know, well, even then, like, it would be pretty good. Um, Incineroar can intimidate most of this team down, so four of the six Pokemon on Kiwi's team need to, need to uh, account for intimidate. Um, that may be Jirachi, but it's probably going to be Scarfhead. Um, biggest thing for Paco is to take care of Florges and to take care of it early because that's going to be pretty important, getting rid of the Cleric. For a relatively frail-ish team, I'm not going to say it's very frail, but it it's not like super bulky. It's something like, you know, Gliscor or literally Paco's almost Paco's entire team. Um, so yeah, that's something to look out for. Uh, another thing is, uh, I think um, Gliscor can do really well, as long as it doesn't get hit with an ice type move. If it does, it's just dead. Not much you can do about it, but... Um, yeah, Gliscor looks actually pretty good, I think. Um, can take care of Jirachi and Cinderace, two incredibly potent threats. Um, and if it has a flying type move, it'll also take care of Hitmon, Hitmon top as well. Um, only one ground Pokemon to really take care of Toxapex with. Um, May Melaletta could probably hit it really hard too, get like a Stab Psychic off or something like that. Maybe an uh, maybe a um a Zen headbutt from Jirachi, but Toxapex is kind of just Toxapex, so we'll have to see how that works. Um, and then Lele is Lele. Yeah, Iron Head against Lele will work pretty well, but if Jirachi goes down, it might be kind of scary unless Malaleta has Shadow Ball. But even then, Tapu Lele is a menace, and I'm sure Kiwi realizes that. Uh, so without further ado, I think, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. As far as leads, you know, maybe like Milk Tank and Hitmontop? Milk Tank? Mil Milk Tank and either Hitmontop or, or Flygon are my two guesses. have Miltank and Hitmontop. Uh, Intimidate does not lower Miltank's attack because of Scrappy. I didn't realize that that accounted for Intimidate. That's interesting. Uh, close Combat deals 32% due to a Choppleberry, but Counter deals a ton of damage back, almost knocking out Hitmontop. Very smart play by Paco. Um... I don't think there's going to be very many hazards going up, but if it does, it might be, it'll probably be after this turn, but that's a galaxy brain call out by Paco to just go for counter immediately. If, I don't know if Miltank gets, wait, why is Miltank so fast? 
What? <laughs> Why is milk tank so... F okay. Um, so anyways, out comes Tornadus. Close combat's gonna do 29%. Pretty much any hit's gonna take care of him on top now. I'm just like bright, some galaxy brain bright power to slightly decrease the accuracy of air slash, which I'm sure this probably doesn't even have. Out comes Flygon. Hurricane. Hurricane hits! Doing 42%. Been a good idea to bring in Flygon there, but at the same time, unless Flygon is scarfed, it's not going to take care of Tornadus. But if it is scarfed, Rock Slide will likely do a good amount of damage to it. I think the the safest switch in here is probably either to Melt Tank or to Gliscor, just because you want something that can either tank an Earthquake or that's can just kind of tank anything, really. This Flygon, if Flygon is coming in on Tornadus, this is likely Scarfed. Or it could also just be Fodder, I'm not sure. Still waiting to see which moves each coach goes for. This is match number two of the set. Uh, Kiwi took game number one. forgot to mention that before the leave. But uh, Kiwi took game number one over Paco. Uh, if Kiwi wins this one, it will be a 2-0 set win for Kiwi, and he will advance. Out comes Gliscor, and Flygon switches into Jirachi. Glasscore's Toxic Orb takes effect, and Jirachi probably needs to switch here, unless it has Ice Punch. If it has Ice Beam or Ice Punch, then it will just want to stay. Intimidate drops its attack. Iron Head only does 14%. So this is a physical attacking Jirachi. Floor just comes out. Fe the, the Fei. I have no idea how to pronounce that, because that... That is an accent on there, is it? Swords Dance gets used after Glasgow comes out. Wish goes up. This is probably going to go to Flygon. Uh, Flygon's... Yeah, Flygon kind of makes sense. There's Flygon. Facade is going to KO Flygon. Wish will have no effect now. Facade is huge. And Glasgow has Toxic Heal too, so this is there is no detriment right now for Glasgow. It will just start doing a ton of damage if Kiwi cannot take care of it. If Jirachi has Ice Punch, that's probably Kiwi's best bet is to send it in right now and get a 4x and move off. But there's no guarantee that that KOs either, though. So, looking at Kiwi's team against the rest of Paco's team, um, the Montauk might be good just as fodder. Because I, I can't, I guess maybe for Miltank, but even then you have other, there are other Pokemon that you can use against Miltank if it's at very low health. It does get... Oh, well, I guess it's not as low. No, I'm thinking of Hitmontop that's at low health. Out comes Jirachi. This could be an Ice Punch Jirachi. Incineroar comes back out. Drop its attack. Trick. Oh, that's huge. Wait. I guess that's, no, that could be really bad for Kiwi now, though, because it can just pull off of Flare Blitz. Parting Shot drops attack and special attack again. 
Flashcard uses Sword Stance. Moonblast does 24%. Flashcard is going for an attack here. What attack it's going to be? Probably for Oh no, it goes for Sword Stance again. Wish goes off. This might go to Hitmontop? It could also just go straight to maybe Cinderace. Uh, letting Gliscor set up like this is a very bad idea. Although I don't know how much Kiwi can do about it now. If there is no Ice-type move to take care of Gliscor right now, Kiwi is pretty much just done for. Facade will KO everything since there is no normal resist aside from Jirachi, but at plus 3 Gliscor has a good chance of KOing it. And if it can't KO Jirachi, here it is Hitmontop, Intimidate lowers attack a little bit, Earthquake KOs, again which does no effect. Earthquake will pretty much KO the rest of this team I think. Kiwi desperately needs to get rid of Gliscor now, it is 6-4 in Paco's favor. Probably just something Kiwi needs to take into account for the next battle is Gliscor can just set up and it'll do really well. Jirachi comes out. Maybe if it gets a bunch of flinches off, but yeah, who knows? It is Jirachi. Jirachi goes for Iron Head. Ironhead not doing too much to Incineroar. Incineroar can probably just go for a Flare Blitz here. Very little repercussions. Parting Shot drops uh, Melaletta's attack and special attack. I think Glycer gets knockoff, so, so it can just go for a knockoff here. Pretty free. Facade could also kill. I don't believe Melaletta's very bulky. Psychic is going to do 33%. That special attack drop. Doing a pretty good number. Earthquake brings Meloletta down to 14%, but does not KO. Glyscar uses Roost. Meloletta goes for a Z move, all out pummeling. Just 42%. Roost comes off again. Psychic does 30%. Earthquake will KO here. Cinderace comes out. Pyro Ball misses! Earthquake will KO. That's an unfortunate miss. Pyro Ball, I don't think it would have KO'd, but Fire Power Ball would have made this a lot closer. Stars Dance comes off. Witch goes up. Earthquake does 90% Moon Blast, does 41. Wish heals Florges up to 60%. Leftovers brings it to 66. Protect blocks the Earthquake. Blaster up to 83% now after Poison Heal, and now Jirachi will come out to possibly work its magic. Earthquake KOs, it is a 6-0 victory for Paco over Kiwi. The two teams will now have, the two coaches will now have 30 minutes, and after that, we'll get back into the next battle, but that was a, um, Pretty clean sweep from Gliscor. Uh, not having a nice type move really, really hurt Kiwi, or even just having a water type move to try and counter Gliscor really, really hurt Kiwi. Um, yeah, that was that was a pretty clean sweep. Good use of parting shot from Incineroar as well, especially with a choice scarf parting shot. Very good to pivot in and out of to keep Gliscor safe. Um, and overall. Pretty good game, um, very smart plays by Paco, and we will see how the next one goes.